Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today's video is very, very important. And this video, I have hung on to the contents of what is in this bag, specifically for this video. And if you've noticed, this video has a little bit of a serious undertone to it because this is something that is so important and I really want you guys to pay attention to this when you're watching this video. I, if like most of you guys, um, or maybe not like most of you guys, but I do not have the luxury of having lots and lots of money to buy things on my channel to review. I have to save up for them. I don't make a ton of money. YouTube, I have the AdSense thing on, but I've never made more than five bucks. So it's one of those things where when I get stuff, I have to save for it, I have to budget for it. So like anyone else, when I see a deal, I go for it. And if you guys have watched my channel for the last year to year and a half, you know that I liked, being the keyword, liked buying things on eBay because back to the budget thing, when you see something that is luxury, high-end, for a good price on eBay, your temptation is to buy it. Why? Because you're trying to get something nice for your channel, you want to get good makeup, but you just can't afford that $40 lipstick or that, you know, $60 palette or, you know, obviously that's a little bit much for that. But when you see something on there and it's priced really well, and you just like, I can't believe that they're selling this for that price, then you tend to go for it. And I did a video a while back. I'll see if I can find it and link it in the description box. If not, then maybe you can go through and watch it, but um, it's quite a few videos ago and I have like 200 videos, so I'll try and find it if I can. But anyways, I was one of those people that was looking on eBay for a new palette to buy because I wanted a new makeup palette because I have... You know, I have a lot of neutral palettes and they're really cool, but I wanted something that I hadn't had before. You know, just wanted something new. So I went on eBay and I'm scrolling through and I came upon this Too Faced one. And it was stunning. And I'm sure that the actual one was stunning too. And so I got on there and I have this way that I shop on eBay. I pay attention to the seller's ratings how many and how good of quality pictures they have, their return policy, um, the description of the product, the whole nine yards. I do a lot of research before I buy stuff. And every once in a while, you'll still, even having done all of that and finding the highest, you know, this is 100% authentic and it's never been opened and, you know, they have like 16 pictures and it looks amazing and, you know, it's not priced too low and every once in a while you still get bad stuff. This is one of the worst cases of that happening that I have ever experienced and it for the unforeseeable future has made me not buy on eBay anymore because of this. So I bought a Too Faced palette and it was the Natural at Night palette and if you guys go and look online for pictures of this palette and swatches, it's gorgeous, it's stunning. You can't really get it anymore. And so it just, it's, it's a gorgeous palette. And so I got this in the mail and I was really, the first very minor red flag was that it came not in a box like I would have shipped it if I shipped out something to somebody, but it came in a bubble wrap thing, which eh, whatever. That's just a little minor thing in my book where it was just one of those slight things like, oh, I wish this was in a box instead of crammed in my PO box, but whatever. And then I opened it up and it looked, you know, pretty awesome. It's about a good size palette. This is the standard size for the Too Faced palettes. And so the box didn't look, you know, incredibly new. There was slight, you know, bits of wear on there, which I expected buying it from eBay. And it said that it was new, never opened or tested or swatched, and it was 100% authentic. And the picture, and if I can find the picture, I'll link it down below so you guys can see it, the picture that the seller showed on their site. And so I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I opened the box and 
I have never had so many mixed feelings in my life about a palette or about a product than I did in those first 30 seconds that I opened this. And for the sake of this video, I'm speaking very carefully because the things that I want to say and the things that came out of my mouth in those first 30 seconds when I opened this are not PG. And so I'm keeping this video PG, but, and the things that I included to the seller when I sent them the email saying I want my money back were also not PG. And so this is what the box looks like that I got it in. You know, fair enough, right? And then I opened it. And I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to hold this up to the camera and I'll let you guys say and do the rest. This is what I got. That. And I'm going to go hand sanitize and wash my hands after touching that. Let's talk about this for a second. The box is badly damaged. It's coming apart at the seams. That, I do not know what it is. It looks like mold. This box looks like it's been sitting in somebody's dusty, musty old basement for like 10 years and they dug it out of there and decided to ship it to somebody. Ugh. There's no lettering on there and the lettering, the few letters here and there that you can see are upside down. And they're all coming out of there and it looks moldy. I'm pretty sure it is mold. The box is coming apart. And like I said, I won't tell you what the first few things that came out of my mouth was, but it was bad. And so I sent the seller the email and the PG version of it was, how could you send this to someone in this condition? I said, this not only doesn't match your picture, but it's disgusting. It is unsanitary. If I was to put that on my eyes, I have no idea what would happen. Can you imagine? If somebody had put that on in its current condition, I'm pretty sure you would get an eye infection or, or who knows? I don't know what that is. I don't. And so I've kept it in that plastic bag because I didn't dare open it again except for this video. And like I said, I'm going to go like scrub my hands because I don't know what that is. But that is just, it was so disgusting for me. And so after that, I was like, I don't think I want to buy an eBay again. So, some of the things I would like to tell to you guys is I understand that not all of us can afford to buy the nice high-end things from Sephora, from Mac, etc. If you need or want to buy something on eBay, do over-research. I can't tell you that enough. Contact the seller. Ask her to send you pics. Make sure that you do everything you can to make sure that it is absolutely authentic and in good condition. And I'm just gonna throw this in there too because I really felt the need to say this after seeing this, is for all of the, I've seen so many videos on my feed list on YouTube from people that are doing the Ulta dumpster dives or you know any kind of makeup, don't do that. Please, 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 please don't do that. That's so gross. And this type of thing is why. You don't know where it's been. You don't know what that is. You don't know what people have thrown in there. It's not sanitary. If you really need or want something that bad, save up for it. Yeah, does it suck? Yeah, it does. I ordered a couple of the most basic things from Mac that everybody else has had for years that I'm finally saving up for. It's sad, whatever, but it's the way it is. But please don't do that. This is just, it's not good for you. And I just, I would not put this anywhere near my face. And so if you guys are buying stuff on there, pay attention to that kind of thing. I would not wish this experience on anybody. And I hope that you guys never get this kind of a product. I have gotten fakes of things before that were in great condition and they were fine, but they were just fake. That I can handle. This, I cannot. And so for the unforeseeable future, I will not be buying on eBay. I went and I went to maccosmetics.com and I ordered some stuff from them because I'm a I was like, well, at least when I open it, it'll be authentic, it'll be new, it'll be nice, it'll be not this. And so I'm going to box this back up and immediately throw it away and sanitize like everything. And so I wanted to go over that with you guys to just say, hey, be careful when you're buying things. And also, 
don't do the dumpster dive thing because for all I know this could have been one of those things that they just sent to me and by the time it got to me there's a reason they throw that stuff away so I just obviously to each their own but I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that that kind of stuff is possible so this is one of the not fun videos that I had to film but I wanted to film it just so that you guys were aware of that and I just so now I'm spending my time on multiple websites, BH Cosmetics and NARS, and you know, I want to order a palette now because this was so disappointing to me that I just, ugh. So I'm going to go ahead and I've saved up some money and so I'm going to go ahead and buy something nice. And I haven't ordered it yet, I'm still doing research because now I'm just like so paranoid even buying from, you know, like a Mac store or, you know, whatever, just authentic website is just, I don't know, I'm so afraid because I don't want that to ever happen again. but. That was that. I will stop raving about that, and I will see you guys in my next video, which hopefully will be more upbeat. Bye.